Okay, so here at SCC, we have stretchers that we transport our patients on during duty day. Um, one of the main things that we have to do is proper lifting technique. Um, you'll have two firefighters on scene with you during duty day. When you have to lift or lower the cot, you need four people helping at all times. So when we lower her to the transport position, which will be about two or three clicks down, um, we need four people. So I'll have Kelsey at the head, Brooke on this side, and Brian on the other side. And we will all lift, and it'll be uh, on the count of three, and then we'll lower her. And to lower this cot, you have to lift it up and grasp the handle, and then lower and let go of the handle to catch the notch so that it stops lowering, okay? So we're going to do uh, lower her to the transport position. On one, two, three, up and down, and let go. And now she's in the transport position. When you get into the ambulance during duty day, the ambulance is essentially just a wall, and you have to picture it as an ambulance. So then you will slide her over to the wall, and now she's in the ambulance. It's uh, imaginary, but also for the side people, there are points on here that you have to watch for with your hands. Like right here, it says possible pinch point, so be aware of that. Um, the tank, if the patient is taller than Jackie, um, you have to remove it. If they're on a backboard, you have to remove it because the backboard won't fit. Um, always remember your patient has to be strapped in with the leg straps, the hip strap, and then the shoulder harnesses um, before you can lift or lower or transport. And then um, don't drop it all the way down. Um, like I said, always use good lifting techniques. Uh, lift with your legs and not your back. Um, so if you go lower, obviously it's a lot harder to lift. So we're going to demonstrate picking her up and then um, we'll be done with this demonstration. So let's move her out. And we have four people, my two firefighters on each side and the attendant and the partner always at the head and the feet. Okay, up on three, one, two, three. And now we're good.